Today's video is the process of me creating this razor blade plus credit card shirt design. It is my first design of 2023 and later in the video I'll share with you guys some new photoshop tricks so stay tuned for that. Enough talk, let's go. Yo, yo, what is good, my Gs? It's your boy Dixon here from Intuitive Designs. Hope you're having a great year so far. Quick update, I couldn't be more excited to show you guys the tutorials that I'm currently working on, which will be up in the next following weeks. So yeah, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those free assets that I'm about to drop your way. Right, so first of all, on Photoshop, I'm looking at these assets that I'm downloaded earlier just to get the momentum going on, you know. Um, same as before, always prep your design assets first before you try to bring it to life on Photoshop. Photoshop. So yeah, the concept is pretty dead on. It's a razor blade Amex card. You can interpret the meaning however you want to. So I'm using this razor blade stock photo I got from Envato Lemons as the base and then I'll add more layers on top of it as I go. So now I'm adding the bevel and emboss effect to the intuitive design text on this Amex card um, so that it looks more realistic. You know, pretty basic settings for this one, just gotta adjust the size a bit and then maybe the angle. Um, next, I'll add the JPEG artifacts removal filter to get rid of the pixelation uh, because I couldn't find a better stock photo for the Amex card and um, this one is quite small so I had to size it all the way up. Um, after that, I'm just going to use the dry brush filter to smooth everything out. Okay, so the prep work for the credit card is now done. Now I can finally start the composition for these two assets. I'm gonna use the perspective setting on the razor to rescale or um, reproportion. I think that's a better word for it. Um, into a perfect rectangle, you know, just to match uh, the proportion of the credit card. And then after that, it's just a lot of blending modes overlay. So let's see. I'm using the harmonization filter and the neural filters to match the color tone of both the razor blade and the credit card. It's a hit or miss situation sometimes with this effect because you know it's using AI to do the work but I'm sure Photoshop will improve it over time so yeah after that I'll just fill up the card into the sides of the blade using content aware.
So now I'm correcting the color using the selective color tool. Of course, if you're a long time subscriber, you would know that this is my favorite tool. I know it's a bit overused at this point, but really I don't care as long as it looks good. But yeah, I wanted to have a tinge of yellow to it to make it more aesthetically pleasing. However, um, I'm actually liking more and more in this silver color tone. So I'm just gonna mess around and see how it looks. But yeah, after that, I'll move on to adding text. I can't decide which font to go with, but I want it to be a sans serif font because I want to achieve that uh, modern minimal look. So I'll probably end up with Kovadika. I kind of abuse that font because I use it all the time. So, you know, I think I gotta go with something different this time. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna add some more icon elements at the bottom using my icon pack and then just wrap it all up. That is all for today guys hope this video inspires you to keep on creating once again i got tons of tutorials coming up so make sure you tune in for those because i got tons of knowledge to give it to you for free you definitely don't want to miss out thanks for watching see you next time